So in the last video, we looked at how to return values from threads. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to pass certain unique values to each thread, knowing that, well, at certain points, you might want to do something based on uh, the thread's order of creation, let's say. How can we do that with uh, the pthread API? Well, first, let's start by creating a, a problem, if something that we want to um, pass to a thread. And let's think we have a global array, just array of 10 elements. And these 10 elements are actually going to call this array primes. And these are going to be the first few primes. And there's going to be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, that's 7, 19, 23, how many are those? Those are 9 and 29, I'm pretty sure. All right, now that we have all them, so let's say that we want 10 threads and each of the thread should just print one prime and it should be just one unique prime from this array. How, how can we manage that? Well, first let's start by creating the 10 threads. So p thread underscore t, th of 10. Then what do we do? We just create a for loop from zero to 10, i plus plus, and then we just call p thread create. And this guy takes in the address of th of i, or just th plus i if you prefer. Then there's gonna be a routine function like we had before. I'm gonna create that uh, in just a bit and then no and of course we should check for errors and say if this doesn't equal zero then p error let's say fails to create thread all right that's all fine and then of course basically the same thing for joining so p thread join here and this guy only needs the value so that's actually very important to no and no more parameters here and this is fail to join thread okay that's nice now we need the routine so i'm going to create here the routine again it's going to return void a void pointer and instead of not having any arguments this time i'm going to pass in uh, a void pointer argument and this is what you're going to be able to pass in to the routine okay now this is kind of tricky. What do we do here? We we can just print f what uh, percent d. Let's say a space here, and then you say primes of what exactly? What is going to be here in between the parentheses? Because well, we can just say rand and just percent ten because that's not guaranteed that it's going to be unique, right? We want each of the unique primes printed on the screen, but one per thread. How can we do that? Well. We, we can use this argument. This argument is actually the same as the fourth parameter of p thread create. And so here, if you, if you take a look at the signature, this last one is a void pointer and it's called just arg. And really what this does is passes a variable, a actually a position in memory to this uh, function. So if you pass in anything here, it's going to get in here and you can actually use it. Now, what do we pass in here? Well, let's say we pass in a pointer to the index that we want to print. So if it's a pointer to the index, then we can just say int index equals the reference arc, right? And that's going to be our index and we can actually use it right here. Well, of course, we're going to get an error here saying that we cannot dereference void. We have to actually, uh, actually cast it first if you if you haven't seen the video about void pointers you can check it up top and what we have to do here is just say cast it to int pointer right? so cast arc to int pointer and then dereference it and i'm going to get an int it's going to be an index i'm going to use it here now to pass it what do we do well we cannot just pass i because it's not a pointer we can pass the reference of i Okay, that uh, seems fine. It's just an int pointer that gets just casted to a void pointer and it gets sent, right? Let's 
try to run this and see if it actually works. As you might notice, well, we did get the primes printed on the screen, but not really all of them. There are certain ones that are actually missing, there are certain ones that are duplicated. What's, what's up with that? Why, why is this happening? Why is it not actually working? Hmm, that's very strange. And it's gonna become much stranger if I actually add a slip here of, let's say, one. So I'm gonna make each thread wait one second before or after it's created. So if I try to launch this, you'll notice all of it is zero. So what's happening? Now the issue here is really related to the fact that we're passing memory addresses instead of just values, right? So in, since we're passing memory addresses, the value at those addresses could change in the meantime that the thread starts executing. So between the time the thread got created and the thread got started, the value inside the referenced, inside the address that we're referencing has changed. So for example, here, uh, when we call Peter create the first time, right, we pass in an address to I, okay? And I at the time is zero. So if we, if right after that, the thread that we created starts executing, then this is all right because arg is, an, uh, is a reference, is basically the memory address to i, and i is of value zero. So index is gonna be zero, so primes of zero is gonna be two, and that's gonna print out the right number that we want there. Okay, that's, that's amazing. And then, well, of course, the, the second thread, when it gets created, hopefully, uh, the value at address i is going to be 1. And then here we're going to get primes of 1, which is going to be 3, and so on and so forth. So that's the idea behind passing i here as the parameter. The problem is if we, for example, get the first p thread create, and then i is going to be 0 for that first p thread create but the thread that we created didn't get started yet and then the second thread gets created so i is getting uh incremented here well if i is getting incremented here then we're going to create another thread passing the address to i and now both threads as you can see are going to have the same i value if they start at right after the second thread has started executing so really the issue here is the multi-threaded nature of how this i here does change irrelevant of what's executed in the routine function. Okay, so especially when I got all zeros here in the terminal, we can find out what's happening if I just print out instead of the actual value, if I just print out the index. If I try to run this with slip one here at the top, you will see that the index for all the threads is 10. And why is it 10? An answer here is simple. We have here 10 pthread create calls. So we have 10 threads that get created, but they don't really start uh, doing anything because they sleep for one second. And in that one second, all of them get created. So i goes from 0 to 1 to 3 to all the way to 10, gets out of the for loop, right? And it it goes to the next for loop. And this i and this i are actually different. And because of that, well, we get, whenever, whenever they actually start executing, we get i to be 10 in here and the index is 10. And we get primes of index, which is really the memory right after the array, which just happens to be zero because probably it's either just some padding memory or there's some other global memory that hasn't been initialized yet which is actually zero so this is why we get here uh, all zeros if we actually change this to be a local variable to the main function and have the same i in between these four loops you're going to see a bit of a different thing where if i run this 
you'll notice that I do get some values indeed because well this same i like even if it becomes 10 after it becomes 10 this second for loop initializes it to 0 again so it becomes 0 and then it says 2 it becomes 2 and then it uh, two of the threads pick it up but as you can see we still get a wrong result so then what is actually the answer because this is quite a problem and the most general solution is to simply dynamically allocate some memory for this i that you want to pass for each thread so here what we can do is say int pointer let's say i don't know let's say a equals m alloc of size of int right and just say the value of a equals i right before we create the thread so at every iteration we actually allocate a separate uh it's four bytes for every thread right and we then we then just pass a here instead of the uh reference to i and now of course we're gonna have to free this memory since there's a, an m alloc here and we cannot really free it anywhere in here you might say that oh we can just free it here but that's that's not right because that doesn't if we just free it here um here this thread that we created is not guaranteed to have finished its execution so what's gonna happen is that the thread gets created and well let's say it just sleeps one second now that's what's gonna happen and then the dynamically allocated block of memory is being deallocated is being freed and then the new thread that got created tries to dereference it and everything breaks because it's been already freed so we cannot do that we're gonna have to free the memory inside the uh, routine here that we have created so of course not free a but it's gonna be free arg and even though it's a void pointer it doesn't matter every single pointer has the same size after all and now finally we can actually run this and have some success as you can see here so 2 3 5 7 11 13 19 23 29 and 17 actually i can take out the sleep we don't even need that if we run again let's see we get 3 2 5 7 11 13 29, 29. as you can see they are not in order and i didn't expect them to be in order because of course uh it's a multi thread environment, but it's only one prime per thread. And that's what I expected from it by giving it an index. Now, as a, as a very short homework, uh, what I presented here is a very general solution that you can use basically in any situation, but there is a more simple solution to this. And I'm gonna let you find out what it is has to do with the fact that you're passing addresses and you'll see from there all right that is it for today uh i hope you got something out of it if you do have any questions leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server of course the source code is going to be uh down at the link below in the description on our website all right take care bye